Hey guys, today I wanna to show you three enemies of your Christian witness. What do people think about you and how can you make yourself as effective as possible for the kingdom of God? Stick around, we're gonna get right into it. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Ted Shuttlesworth Jr. back with you again this week on the podcast. Thanks so much for watching again this week. And if you like my channel and enjoy these videos, I want you to subscribe. And I have a gift for every person that does. You can click the link right here and download my new ebook, 40 Days to Overwhelming Joy, absolutely free. So today we wanna to talk about three enemies of your Christian witness. What does that mean? Are you living for God in such a way that it would draw people to Jesus, draw people to Christ, or is the way you're living pushing people away from Jesus and away from God? So number one is your compassion. That is your love walk. How do you treat the people around you? You know, the Bible says that you'll know Christians by their fruit. The question is, what type of fruit are you producing in your life? The Bible teaches us in the book of 1 Corinthians that more powerful and more important than any gift of the Spirit or any other spiritual empowerment that you may possess is love. Love is more important than anything. The Bible says all of the things will pass away, but love will remain forever. And the question that we have is, are you walking in love? Are you treating people with love and compassion? Or is your life an emotional wreck? When people get around you, are you up one day and down the next? Some days in drama, other days happy, an emotional roller coaster. See, God is expecting his children to walk in love of because it is a mirror of the attitude of Jesus to the earth. Jesus loves people. God loved the world so much that he gave them Jesus. And as Christians, we are called to love people as well. You walking in love will go a long way to drawing people to Jesus. That's why the enemy fights you so hard and tries to attack your emotions so that you don't walk in love on a daily basis. But when you do, it is a magnet that draws people into the kingdom. Number two is your confession. How do you talk? What are you saying out of your mouth? When people get around you, do you sound like everybody else who's not a Christian? Do you tell all the same jokes? Do you say all the same words? Do you complain when everyone else is complaining? Are you upset, angry, cussing people out when other people are doing the same? Or is your confession different? Do you speak positively and not negatively? When everybody's bashing the boss or bashing their coworkers, are you speaking words that lift them up? How you speak is a clear peek or look at your soul. The things that come out of your mouth come out of the abundance of your heart. So when you speak what God says to speak, it goes a long way to build a Christian witness. You are creating a clear difference between people who have Jesus and those who don't. So that when people look at your life and hear what you say, they can see there's a clear difference in your life and someone else's. Number three are your connections. Who are you allowing to connect to your life and who are you connecting with? That goes a long way to saying a lot about yourself because the people that you surround yourself with are who you become. It's not easy and it's probably impossible to surround yourself with people that don't care about living according to God's word and to continue to do it yourself. Jesus was a friend of sinners, he was around sinners and he ministered to them, but that's not who he surrounded himself with. Jesus surrounded himself with people that were of like faith who he could pour himself into and they in turn could sow into his ministry and assist him in his call. If you're going to be successful in your Christian witness, then you have got to surround yourself with people who are gonna help you on your path to serving God that are gonna lift you up and not tear you down. This will cause you to be spiritually strengthened and allow God to use you to help other people. Hey guys, I hope this video helped you today. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them below. I'd love to answer any that you have. And don't forget until next week, goodness and mercy are following you for the rest of your life. I'll see you next time.